Hi guys, my name is Jacqueline for some of you that may not know and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe. I'd love to have you a part of this little channel, this little family if you will. Love to have you a part of this as well as, yeah, I don't know. Um, thank you to anybody that has and is still subscribed to me. Really appreciate it. I'm really sorry about last week. I tried to upload a video and unfortunately that video got copyrighted. It happens. Um, I had footage from somebody else's video in it and apparently even though I sourced the material and whatnot and still YouTube still decided that it wasn't meant to be for that video. So that's okay. It happens. Sometimes we just need to move on and be content with whatever it is that you're going through. And now, the video that I want to do today, by the way, you could pause right here, grab a snack, grab a drink, you know, do whatever you gotta do and come on back. Um, I wanted to do my November favorites because, A, it's just something I like to do for me. As well as there's some people that actually watch my videos that actually like my recommendations, which is, like, kind of shocking to me because some of my recommendations make, like, zero sense. So I just wanted to get you guys a video up there as soon as possible, and this is the only thing I could think of doing right now. Um, more videos to come that will be a little more um, exciting, I hope. Anyways, so November favorites. Now, this is a very good question of where do I start? I'm going to start with beauty favorites because I know some people only come for that and then leave for the rest, and so that's totally fine. Um, fast forward if you don't want to hear, uh, about my beauty favorites. I only have, like, four products. I try to keep it pretty minimum. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Mount Lee, the Rose Quartz Gusha Tool. Now, you might see this and look at it and be like, huh, what, what is this? Um, first, let me open it up. So, it is a Rose Quartz Tool. Now, I think I showed this in a video before, or maybe I filmed something a long time ago, and I didn't like the way it came out. But what I do is I put on all my skincare, so I put all my serums and then my moisturizer on. And then I use this, and I go, like, right in my eye sockets, like, right in there. And I just go upwards on my face, and I, it just moves all your lymphatic, like, um fluids and moves them to the right places in your face instead of like having it because like sometimes you'll wake up and your face is puffy and it's like your sinuses are full and everything and it's kind of nice because this helps like kind of loosen that up so your face doesn't look as puffy and y you're you don't feel as stuffy in like your nose area or anything like it kind of loosens everything up which is nice and honestly it feels nice like it it feels cooling and it just really helps make your face feel a little more like together if that makes any sense so i've been using this i've been using it on my jawline as well i didn't do it today but i'm gonna do it later but i just wanted to show that off next thing i want to talk to you guys about are the peace out acne dots now as you can see i still have a breakout but this was a lot bigger and a lot more redder before using these i like these because it keeps you from getting um you know, like pus and stuff from your pimples on your pillow, so it's like a little more hygienic. You can wear it under a mask if you want, if you had to go out anywhere, and they're clear, so you don't have to really worry about anybody looking, like seeing them, unless they go like really close to your face. And they come in like their own little like pouch, and it's kind of nice because you could just pull out as many as you like need. And I just, I don't know, I genuinely like these. I think these are good. The Mighty Patch on Amazon are way cheaper and also just as good. Um, I believe the Mighty Patch, um, if you get, like, you get 72 of them and it's, like, $28. This is, like, 42 and I think it's, like, $40. No, yeah, this is 40 acne stickers and then it's $42 which is a little pricey. Both of those things I just talked about you can find at Sephora. And another piece out item that I really like is the uh, nose and pore strips. These are really great if you are like me and you get a lot of blackheads on your nose or like um, clogged pores in certain areas of, of your face. 
These are really great because you can just stick them on and then go to sleep. And then when you wake up, you could just rip it off and like your pores look a lot smaller, more defined and like whatever is like gunking them up is kind of out of your face at that point and that just helps so much i i struggle with really bad blackheads on my nose like so this is really good to help with that and yeah i like it and i've I already shown those i think the pore strips and stuff and maybe the Gushaw tool in a sephora thing before i think another beauty favorite and I believe yeah this is my last beauty favorite so um this is the Caudalie Lee um mask instant detox so it's an instant detox clay mask and it's really really nice because again kind of like the pore strips it's kind of nice to put in areas where you have a lot of like pimples or just like blackheads or even just like pores that are just full of gunk. This is really great to just do for like 10 to 15 minutes, put it on your face, put a thin layer on, do whatever you gotta do, cut, like wash it off and your face looks like your pores do look significantly smaller and I know TikTok really hyped this up for good reason. It is really really good. I use this at least once a week, sometimes twice a week if I'm having like a really bad skin time, like usually around Sorry for the TMI, everybody, but it's true. Usually if you're starting your period, like, your skin kind of freaks out. So, I that's when I will use it, like, twice a week. Because, yeah. Um, now we're going to move on to lifestyle favorites. First thing I want to talk about is this Bath & Body Works candle. I'm not really... I am a candle person, but I'm not. Um, but I found this one. And it just smells so good. Like, I don't even need to take the lid off to smell it. It's a very strong candle, which I would not recommend burning this in a very small area because it is quite strong. This is the Spiced Apple Toddy candle. Looks something like that. It smells so good. I've always loved the like smell of hot apple cider or just apple cider, cider in general. It just always smells so good and that's literally what it reminds me of. And it also kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, it just, it smells so strong, but in a good way, where it would be great if you had like your own like apartment or something, you can just light this in one room and your whole apartment would smell like it. It just smells so fresh and nice and not overly sweet because, you know, there's certain candles that can be like over overpoweringly sweet. That one's really nice. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about, and I kind of made this investment because I am known to break chargers. And I'm just known to break them. It just happens. Like, I'll lay a certain way and my charger, the cord will bend and then break. And it's just really annoying. So, I decided to invest. And this is a wireless uh, charger from Samsung. I got this off Amazon. It wasn't overly expensive either. I think it was like $20? $22? It wasn't outrageous, surprisingly. And it is the Samsung brand. Um, it's really nice. I don't have to worry about charging cables and everything else. I just have that and it just works really well. I just plug it into my little power bank and I'm done, you know? It comes with its own cord to use and it charges pretty quick and I, yeah, I have no complaints. The only complaint I do have is like if I don't have my phone on it, um, correctly sometimes it'll make a noise and it's kind of like a really annoying sometimes because you're just like why are you making noise but once you kind of like shift your phone around a little bit it stops doing it so that's the only thing I will um say that's like a negative I guess next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the one in day women's gummies now I mean obviously if you're male and you're watching this definitely take male vitamins obviously for your own good but I definitely think, especially because, unfortunately, we have a new variant of this panini, um, that we all should be investing in more vitamin intake and keeping ourselves healthy because nobody, ain't nobody want corona. Like, nobody wants that. And nobody's got time for that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but in all honesty, I think vitamins are very necessary. I've noticed for a while I was getting really tired and just like no energy and it was because I was probably lacking a lot of vitamins so I started taking vitamins and now I'm starting to feel a little bit more awake 
which is like shocking because that never happens. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, because I feel like if I continued this list, I would go for the million years long, is <laughs> the Carnation Rich and Creamy Hot Chocolate Mix. I don't know why. It's like ever since it turned winter, I just turned into a basic bitch where I'm just like, I need hot chocolate now and this is what I want. And for some reason, I've just been on a hot chocolate kick and like I re recently just bought this and like when I tell you I'm on a hot chocolate kick, that's all I have left is that little bit. What do I do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, it's it's just been such a comforting thing, and I love having it. Sometimes I'll I'll have one at night, and it'll just make me feel so co like warm and cozy, and like I will like sleep a little bit better. Cause I always found warm milk did kind of help me sleep better in a weird way. It's kind of nasty, but it's true. And yeah, it's just I don't know. I love comfy things in the winter like comfy socks comfy like clothes I just like to feel comfort and I think that's anybody really but I think winter time everybody wants to feel warm and cozy and everybody wants to have that comforting thing and for some reason the hot chocolate is like my thing right now where I'm like yes this is comfort this is exactly what I want it and it kind of helps my chocolate uh, chocolate cravings at night like, I'll have a hot chocolate instead of eating a whole chocolate bar to myself. So, it kind of, I don't know, balances out <laughs> in a way. It's a little bit more healthy, but not really. Oh, uh, one more thing I actually want to shout out are these. I realized, I didn't put it in the list. I know I said that was my last thing, but I realized when I said sugar cravings, these are really great. These are smart sweets. These are really nice. Uh, I actually haven't tried exactly this one yet, but I know I've tried the sour watermelon and the gummy bears and the peach rings, and those were all fantastic. I really like these because they are plant-based, not just because they're plant-based, but because they just, you know when you need a sugar craving and you don't want to give in to it too much because A, it's not good for your teeth, but B, you want to be like healthier and better for you. These are great because this whole bag is three grams of sugar and 130 gram, like 130 calories, which is pretty good. It's pretty nice. Um, there's not a whole lot in here, if I'm going to be honest. But there's not, you know, you're not getting jibbed either, if that makes any sense. These are really nice because, again, they kick my sugar craving because I am addicted to sugar. And I'm trying my best to somewhat be more mindful of what I'm, put I'm putting into my body. I think a lot of people should be a little more mindful of what they put in their body. And they have, like, really good benefits to them, too. Like, they're high in fiber, naturally flavored, free of artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, which is nice. And yeah, you can get these on Amazon. You can get a big pad, uh, a big portion of them, or you can get a smaller one. Like, you can get a variety pack, which that's what I did to find out which one would better suit me. And I do not regret my decision. Anyways, yes. So those were my monthly November favorites. Um, I'm really just happy in general that people are still watching this, which is insanity to me because I like old YouTube and I miss old YouTube. So that's why I continue to make favorite videos. I know they don't get a whole lot of views and that doesn't really bother me necessarily. I just really wanted to bring back that type of thing because I feel like our world is definitely a lot more saturated with the negative uh, point of views that, that are happening right now. So I hope you all stay safe and I hope you all are well mentally and physically and emotionally. And if not, I am sending you happy thoughts and happy feelings your way anyways guys i will catch you on the next video and in case nobody's told you today you matter bye guys